Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Rapuano, Chief of the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital in Philadelphia. And I'm coming to you from the Wills Eye Alumni Society newsroom at Wills Eye Hospital. I'd like to talk for a few minutes about dry eye disease or dry eye syndrome. These are really two terms that have to do with unhealthiness of the ocular surface or of the surface of the eye or the surface of the cornea. It's really a rather remarkable condition. A lot of patients will have this. There are a lot of different reasons that people can get dry eye disease or dry eye syndrome, uh, but it's basically, for the most part, from not making enough tears, so-called aqueous deficient dry eye, or having the tears that you make evaporate extra quickly, often from lid disease such as meibomian gland dysfunction. While anybody of any age can get dry eyes, it's certainly more common as people get older, in their 50s, 60s, 70s, or older, and certainly more common in women than in men. The main symptoms that people get are, as you'd expect, kind of dryness of the surface, but what does that mean? Kind of grittiness, scratchiness, sometimes you can have a red eye, or there can be a, a type of a, a mucus discharge. It can also affect the vision, where the vision can be blurred. If you blink a few times, it gets better, and then it gets blurred again. Typically with dry eye syndrome, the symptoms tend to be worse after doing an activity, a, a visual activity, like reading for a while, computer for a while, uh, iPhone, iPad, things like that, or driving, where people stare, or watching a movie, things like that. If you don't get these symptoms, really you should see your eye doctor, and your eye doctor will do some testing in the office. Uh, they'll look at you, put different dyes in the eye to find out what types of um, dry eye syndrome you have and how bad it is. And there may be some other tests. There are some special testing that can be done to look at how salty the tears are or how much inflammation is in the tears. And then there are a variety of treatments for dry eye. It starts off with just some artificial tears, and then you go up the step ladder to more aggressive and, and, and more often more expensive treatments. But we'll start off with tears in a bottle, then go to tears without preservatives, and then we go to gels, and then ointments. Um, and if those aren't working, sometimes we then go to a prescription medication, such as cyclosporin or lefitograst. These are FDA-approved drops that are twice a day for dry eyes. That can be very helpful. Um, if that's not enough, then sometimes you go to punctal plugs. These are little plastic rubber inserts that go in the tear drainage duct so that the tears don't exit the eye as quickly. And if that's not enough, then there are other treatments that go on um, from there. For the most part, uh, when we treat dry eyes, we can be very successful. If it's just uh, not enough tear production, then those treatments will work well. If it's more of an eyelid inflammation, where there's more evaporation, then there are treatments that should be done to decrease the inflammation of the eyelids. These include warm compresses, sometimes some lid scrubs to get some of the crusting off the eyelashes, and sometimes we'll use an antibiotic salve at bedtime. If that's not enough, sometimes we'll use um, antibiotic pills to decrease the thickness of these oils to allow them to flow. That's not enough. There are other treatments, such as a heating and massaging treatment, that can be done in the office. Treatment of dry eyes, if it's relatively mild, is very successful. But if it's more severe, um, it often takes a lot of these different treatments and time for patients to feel better. Having said that, most of our patients with dry eye, whether it's not enough tears or whether it's eyelid inflammation, do seem to improve with treatment and improve their lifestyle, improve their symptoms, and improve their vision. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Dr. Christopher Rapuano, Chief of the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital, coming to you from the Wills Eye Alumni Society newsroom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you very much.